Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Oshawa Honda and today we have this car proof clean 2016 Honda Fit EX sitting before us in a beautiful Milano red exterior. Equipped with multi-reflector halogen headlamps with auto on off, you can also expect these super bright fog lamps and this lovely chrome strip right along the front hood. Speaking of hood, if you pop open that hood of yours, you've got a powerful yet economical 1.5 liter four cylinder engine and that's mated to Honda's six speed manual transmission, boasting just over 130 horsepower and 100 foot pounds of torque. Now coming along the sides here, we can expect these two tone 16 inch alloy wheels and of course those are complemented by a 16 inch all season radial tire. Now this is practically a brand new vehicle guys so you have tons of driving life left on these tires. And you can expect front disc, rear drum brakes helping you come to a complete stop at any time. Well, with a 7-inch touchscreen, multi-sync compatibility, upgraded audio system, let's not stand in the heat. Follow me, let's hop inside, start it up, and show you all around. Helping us hop into your brand new fit is a remote entry complete with lock, unlock, and panic mode. So we'll go ahead, hit the unlock, and open up to reveal the super sporty two-tone black and white interior. Now this is a cloth interior, but you do have full power amenities, including doors, windows, mirrors, and locks. Speaking of mirrors, we've got an expanded driver view mirror there. And coming in, we have adjustable manual seats for the driver and passenger with height adjustment for the driver. And these front seats are heated, of course, making it super comfortable for the winter drives. And don't worry guys, we've got your carpeted mats waiting for us in the back. Got your hood release gas release and then we've got our vehicle stability assist that's going to help keep you all your wheels at the on the ground at all times coming up top here my few favorite features we've got this cup holder that's conveniently placed in front of the vent so heating in the winter will keep your coffee warm and cooling in the summer will keep your ice cap cold and before we pop in and turn her on blind spot display push that button or put your signal on to make right hand turn and you'll see the image automatically appear right there well, with no further ado, let's hop in and start her up. Just turning over the engine to reveal the 63 kilometers on your fit. So guys, for a pre-owned vehicle, you're not getting it newer than this. You also have your RPM gauge speedometer with warning lights. And again, your odometer with your oil life. You also have trip range, gas range information, and external temperature. Fuel consumption down there too. So I'm just using that toggle up top to go ahead and cycle through. The rest of the steering wheel is very easy and straightforward. Over here on our right hand, left hand side, pardon me, these controls are gonna control your touch screen. So if I go ahead and bypass this warning, once I hit this button, it's gonna actually change the screen from audio to phone. So you don't even have to take your hand off the wheel to change functionality. The positive and negative are gonna be for your volume controls as well as toggling through menu options. Same with the arrows. That'll be for skipping ahead presets, for radio stations, tracks, or again, menu options. Down below, we've got our Bluetooth, which is where we hang up, answer, or make our voice commands. And then we've got our cruise control conveniently located to the right. Now, before we got in, I was pointing out our blind spot display, which is conveniently located on our signal lever. So when we go ahead and put this up to make a right-hand turn, the image automatically comes on. Take it off, the image comes off. The other way, you guys, is as I was saying, just push this button once and the image comes on, push it a second time and the image comes off. So that's pretty cool. And you can go ahead in settings and turn off this feature. So if you don't ever want it to activate, that's completely up to you. Lever on our right hand side is gonna be for our windshield wipers, including the rear. And then the lever down below is for our tilt and telescopic steering. So that's awesome if you have multiple drivers in the family or if you just like to adjust the wheel time to time. I'm gonna skip adding my phone. I'll let you do it when you come in to take this vehicle out for a spin. But let's go home where we could see all of the menu options. So going in phone will bring you right to the screen we just came out of. Info is gonna be the info you see on this screen. So we'll go through that. If I don't wanna see my trip information, maybe I wanna see date, time, clock, you simply go ahead and you select this way. Going back home, audio is pretty cool. 
you can see your what you're listening to in this format or you can go ahead and hit this tab right here and it brings up just another way to view your radio stations and your presets. I like looking at it this way so you have the options to scan, tune and seek. Changing from AM to FM to CD you can use the steering wheel or that button right there or you can actually go through the menu and this provides a couple more options including changing your source. Go back home, settings, again that's where you're going to go in to customize your vehicle, add, delete phones, Bluetooth, change pairing codes, maybe you want to do some customization, you could change this color from say blue to maybe you want it red, orange, you can go ahead and do so to match the exterior of your new fit. And then Link Connect, that's another way to connect with the dealership, you download the application uh, complimentary through the App Store. Below that we're going to find our climate control. So guys, got your temperature toggle right here, cold into hot, and then we've got our airflow, fan speed, the direction of airflow, with defrost of course, and then you can select how the air is cycling through, as well as air conditioning, and whether or not you have your heated mirrors and rear view window on. So they work simultaneously, when you turn on one, they both come on. Below that we're going to find our connectivity such as our power outlet, USB and HDMI complete with cup holders and storage. Then we come into our lovely leather wrap knob. So I just want to go ahead and take this advantage to put us into reverse so that you guys can see exactly what your reverse screen is going to look like. It is touch screen so we can change the multi view just at the touch of a button. Love the top down, you'll never drive over your recycling box ever again. Honda guarantees it. <laughs> And coming back down below, we're going to come into a nice little cubby storage and your heated seats plus your emergency brake. Need that with a manual. We come into our sport wrapped console which if we lift up reveals our second power outlet in USB. Perfect storage for some CDs or maybe some cables, whatever you carry along with you on the way. And we also have a nice little storage down in passenger mocking the same storage driver has. Open this up to reveal the window sticker. And before we go pop into the back seat, checking out all these crazy seat arrangements, let's go ahead and open up our sunroof. So it is a one touch open and close. Hello, city of Whitby. Coming back down, go ahead and close it. And I love that they have the light option as well. So you can go ahead, I put it in door for us. So when you open the door, automatically comes on. And not all of our cars have this, but they should. Nice little slot so you can put some business cards, ownership, anything important that you need, directions. And lastly, vanity. Hello. Awesome. Well, why don't we go uh, hop in the back and check out all of the cool magic seats. Come with me. Hopping into the back seat of your brand new fit, you have so much room hopping in there with that super wide door span. Windows that come all the way down. Again, that super sporty two-tone trim. They even kept the cup holder, uh, the storage for the backseat occupant. And then coming in, we have so much room there for the legs. Again, whether the children, the adults, co-workers, friends, family, they'll be comfortable no matter how many people you're carrying. Behind the passenger, we have this nice fabric pocket. Again, adjustable headrests all around. So these actually can come all the way up. So again, whether it's an adult, child, they'll be sitting comfortably. So I've talked about these magic seats. You can do a couple of different things. So I'm just gonna pop in and actually show you. So using one hand I'm doing this, I've just lifted this up. I'm gonna put the bar down and step back out so you can see that it actually heightens the vehicle, allowing you to put maybe a plant, awkward shaped item, or if you're traveling, you can even go ahead and throw the second one up and look at all of that space so easy. Are you an avid cyclist? Take off your front quick release wheel and you could throw a couple of bikes, hop in the fit, drive to the beach and drive until the sun sets right in front of you. Well why don't we go ahead and let these down so that you can see a couple of other seating arrangements. What we're gonna do we're just gonna come over here guys, grab this latch up top Again, you can do this from behind the passenger, behind the driver, entering in from the rear, any way you need to. I'm going to grab the one right here as well. 
and bring that forward. I didn't even put the headrest down. It just completely went down with the headrest still up. So look at all of that space. We've now put the seats down and elongated all of the space we have in the back. There's those carpeted mats and you even have a hard cargo cover. Well, I don't wanna show you all of the special seat arrangements. Why don't we go ahead, enter from the tailgate and show you the rest that way. Come along. Entering through your hatchback, we're just simply gonna go ahead, hit the latch right here. And this is also where you'll find your scratch resistant rear view camera. Release it up. And the cool thing is, is that hard cargo cover is actually attached on the hatch there. So it comes up automatically. Now, if you need this space because you're moving, maybe you've purchased a large item, or again, um, going on vacation, you've got all of that luggage, you can take this out. So again, I just am trying to show you all of that space, tons of room there. And if we go ahead and open this up, you even have your spare tire complete with the tools. Awesome. Well, come along with me. There's a few other seating arrangements to show you, which we're going to do from passenger side. Race ya. So the last mode I'm going to show you, we do have a tall mode, so you can ask your sales representative to show you that, is rest mode. This is my personal favorite mode, especially after a long day at the office. So see what we've done there? We've actually taken the back seat, molded it into the front seat, and created what pretty much looks like a bed. Well, I don't mind. Just gonna hop in here and relax a little tiny bit and check this out. After day of fishing, again, a long day at the office, we can open that all the way, watch the stars, fall asleep, forget camping at those three-day music festivals, just sleep in your fit. Ah, well, three taps and I'm on my way home. That's about enough of this car. I really do want to thank you all for dropping in with me. It's been a pleasure. Not too often do I get to bring guests in a vehicle that converts into a bed, but if I do, it's going to be with you guys. So thanks for dropping in. It's Kristen Fry with Whitby Oshawa Honda. We've got this great looking fit. It's compact. It's versatile. It can carry more than probably most of your sedans at home can. Come take it out, test it on the road, and soon before you'll know it, you'll be finding it parked in your parking spot at work and home. Kristen Fry, thanks for tuning in and have a happy Honda day.